Hey guys, this is Shainu. Today I'll be showing one of the best IDEs for D3 JavaScript. So, first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and type in Visual Studio Code. And it's not Visual Studio because a lot of people get confused between the two. What we need is Visual Studio Code and it has the blue logo. You want to go ahead and select the download option and then choose the version that you have. If you have Windows, use that. I have a MacBook here, so I'm going to go ahead and select the Mac option. It's going to take some time to download. It's being downloaded in a zip format, so we need to unzip it. So let's just click that and it's going to automatically unzip for us. And as you can see, it's unzipped for us. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drag this into the applications. And once you have that there, we're just going to go ahead and launch it. So I'm going to try to find Visual Studio here, open it up and select open. All right, so we do have some configurations that we need to do. Uh, I'm just going to choose the dark version. It just looks better. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and select the next section here. Mark done, I'm just gonna do that. Next thing you wanna do is you're gonna go to the extension and download something called a live server. So live server is required for us to see the changes that we're making to our code in real time. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the install option here. Make sure you're looking for something that has like a purple logo and it's by Ritvik Day. All right, so it looks like it's installed. Once you have live server installed, you wanna to go to code and then to preferences and then to settings. And in the search setting, you wanna type in autosave. You wanna select the drop down option that we have in autosave and choose the after delay option. And here you have another option here that says autosave delay. In here, you wanna just choose like do one second. And then we just wanna go ahead and close it. That should save that setting. Thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to the Explorer and then select open folder. And we're just gonna create a new folder just for this example. So I'm just gonna call this dummy and create that folder and then select the open option. You might get this pop-up. You just have to select, yes, I trust the authors. And in the dummy folder, we're just gonna select it and you should have a little option to create a new file. So let's do that and name this test.html. You don't have to name it test.html. I'm just trying to show you how you can run this code in real time. I went to this website called blocks.org. This is a very good website if you're starting off um, your you know, learning process in um, D3. It's, it has a lot of references, a lot of good references. So I'm just copying one of the codes that I found there and pasting it here and saving this. And once it's saved, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to test.html, right click on this, and then select open with live server. And you can see that uh, the chart that we code copied from um, blocks is showing up here. So let's make some changes to this. Let's actually make the lines black. So I'm just gonna put zero, zero, zero. So as you can see, anytime you make a small change, it's just showing up right away. And let's just put it back again, just to show you that it does what we need to do. So you can see it's going back to the orange color. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you have, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. For now, bye.